Mr. Trahan, uh, this is Paul, and Jeff. Jeff's a craftsman working on your boat. Um, I'm sorry I haven't, uh, I've been kind of incommunicado. Uh, it has to do with a three day California trip that ended up being a 10 day California trip and then being sick for a week after that. And then having trailer a trailer breakdown in Nebraska after that. And so um, anyway, those are my excuses, but uh, we're working on the, uh, well, I should say Jeff's working on replacing uh, the, some of the veneer that um, was uh, splitting off the boat. So we have a, as you can see, we have a, a veneer that's an exact match to what's on your boat. And uh, he's gluing that down. Uh, there's a, there was some split off the deck back here. Um, and uh, we got some that's was split off the deck here on, on the arch. And so, and we've got some that's gonna have to be glued back down here, uh, right up here on the deck. And then, uh, uh, and some, some replacement to happen there as well. And, uh, and uh, this is uh, the Maranti, that is the, uh, that is the, uh, that is the uh, uh, species of wood that was used in your, in what's called Philippine mahogany. Uh, Philippine mahogany was a trade name that Chris Craft made when they ran out of genuine mahogany, which is uh, uh, comes from Honduras, which is now, I think there's a British Honduras, there's, there's Belize, there's a section of Honduras that's now Belize, and uh, that's the national tree down there was, uh, was genuine mahogany. And, but in World War II, I'm sure you'll appreciate this, I think you're military, uh, in World War II, most of the uh, Honduran mahogany was used up in the war effort. So after the war, uh, Chris Craft went back to uh, the Philippines where they got some wood uh, that had to be from their own country in order to compete in a World Cup race. And uh, they went back to that wood. It kind of ticked off a few of the GIs at first and then uh, and then, of course, they were told, well, gee, if you don't want Philippine mahogany, then you're not going to have a boat. And all of a sudden, they loved this stuff. So anyway, just wanted to give you an update. Uh, and I will uh, also give you an update on the finances. I think we're fine on those right now. Uh, but I'll give you an update on that as well. And, um, and uh, we'll, we'll, we got you in the process here.